Hey everyone! Thanks for tuning in today. I'm so glad you guys are here. I've got a really fun video for you guys today. But before I start off my video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all of my subscribers, all of you who have been here with me for a while. I really appreciate you being here and also to my new subscribers. Thank you for coming over and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't already, please be sure to do so. Um, if you want to see more content from me, I share a lot of beauty, lifestyle, affordable lifestyle related content here on my channel. So sometimes I do grocery hauls, reviews, uh, beauty videos, sometimes little vlogs here and there thrown in. So if you are interested in seeing more, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And again, a big thank you to my subscribers who've been here with me throughout the years. I just was thinking about this morning, how much I appreciate talking with you guys on here. I love reading your comments. I always try to respond to comments as soon as I can. I won't say I um, reply to them immediately after I post a video, but I always go back, I always talk with you guys, and I really do love hearing from you. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you my six top Revlon Spring Lipsticks. These are bullet style lipsticks. So your classic, you know, bullet style lipstick. And these are my absolute favorites. Now I have shared some of these lipsticks before, maybe even over on Instagram. Sometimes I've shared some content over there, sharing with you guys some of these colors. And there's a few new ones here. There's a few that I've, you know, picked up throughout the years. And I have to say that out of a lot of the um, drugstore brands, I think Revlon lipsticks are one of my favorites. I really like their lipsticks. I feel like they are quality, they are pigmented, they're affordable, and I like how they have different formulas. They have like matte formulas, metallic formulas, cream formulas. So mine are kind of a mixture of all different kinds of formulas and I will be trying them out for you guys today. That is why I have nothing on my lips. Um, and I do have some little wipes here to wipe in between. But let's go ahead and get this video started. I wanna share with you guys my six favoritest Revlon spring lipsticks. The first one is going to be this one. And this one is a little bit on the darker spectrum. It's on the Mauve number 764. This is a creme formula lipstick and it is a really pretty mauve color lipstick. This is a little bit more along the lines of like a very light pastel-y purple almost mixed with pink. So if you're someone that really likes like purple lipstick or something kind of plum-like, I think you'll really like this one because it's that really classic, really romantic kind of shade. And I don't know, something about this just screams like romantic to me, very classic, really, really pretty. And look at that shine. And the formula feels so, so moisturizing. I really, really like that. So this is a really pretty one, um, a little bit along the darker, I guess, spectrum as far as some spring colors go. But honestly, for me, it's really not that dark. I have some other shades here that you guys may think are dark, but I really like this one. And it actually will look really nice with my um, eye makeup today. So this is one of my favorites. This is On The Mauve from Revlon. All right, for my next lipstick, this is going to be a more nude shade. This is in the shade 755 Bear It All, and it is a also in the cream formula. So this is a really lovely nude shade. Looks good with anything, looks good with any look. Um, the cream formula, you're getting that moisturizing formula again. Let's do a little swatch. So you can see it's nude, but it's not like that concealer nude where it looks identical to your skin tone. It's a little bit more on like the peachy side, which I think is really flattering, really, really pretty. One of my favorite nude shades to use, and I'm a huge nude lipstick fan. I love nude lipsticks. I think they're just like so versatile. You could pretty much wear them with anything. So this one, another one that I really like, and I just think everybody needs a good nude lipstick in their lipstick lineup. And this is just one that 
I really like. So Bear It All, $7.55. Moving on, we got our next shade. This is Pink Promise, shade 778, also a cream formula. You guys have seen me wear this one before. I've wore it in a look I did recently. Really bright, Barbie pink, beautiful, super springy. This is supposed to be very on trend this year. This kind of um, pastel pink and bright pink. These are really coming back into style again. And if you follow the trends, then this is when you may want to hop up on. I've always really liked this kind of pastel and bright pinks. I just think they're very flattering. I just think they look good on almost any skin tone. And they just really, I don't know, brighten up your complexion. Let's do a swatch of it real quick. Really pretty, very bright, sunny, you know, fresh looking. So this is another one that I really like. It is Pink Promise from Revlon. Okay, so everybody needs a nice, bright, you know, orangey, corally color to kind of throw in and spice things up sometimes. And this is where this color comes in for me. This is the Shine Collection from Revlon, and this is shade 005 fire and ice and this was one that when i saw this color i was like i've got to get this now it's on the um more sheer side so this is going to be kind of more of like a lip balm shiny lip gloss kind of texture and consistency but i actually really don't mind that too much i think it kind of shears it out a little bit makes it a little bit more wearable but how gorgeous is this color it's a fiery color it's just so pretty and this could really transition really well into summertime as well because it is that really spicy kind of orangey red shade so this one is beautiful i absolutely love it let's do a swatch look at the shine on that so much more shiny than the others and it's got that really bright fiery red orange color Obviously not going to go very well with what I'm wearing today, but still, I really, really like this one. So pretty and so glossy, so shiny. I love the Shine Collection, so this is another really good one, Fire and Ice. Moving on, we've got another really pretty pink for my pink lovers out there. This is in the Pearl line. This is shade 450, Gentlemen Prefer Pink really like this one this is a classic color if i ever saw one look at that it's that really pretty metallic -y, pearly pink shade that is just so pretty so classic this always like reminds me of my mom and my aunt like back in the day you know uh 80s 90s you know they used to wear these types of shades just really pretty Kind of like reminds me of like old school Avon and Mary Kay and it's just such a pretty classic color. Just absolutely love it. And let's go ahead and do a little swatch of this. So here we go. This one is a little bit more on like the um, more pearly sheer kind of shade, but it does shift in the light, which I think is really pretty. It's something that's a little bit more wearable. It's not bright, it's not bold, it's not out there. It's just classic and classy, exactly what the name suggests. All right, you guys, so we're down to our last shade, and this is also from the cream line. This is shade 435 love that pink this is a gorgeous gorgeous red tone just so pretty it leans a little bit more pink so it's not that super vibrant hot fire engine red it's kind of like a light uh corally red almost which i think is very very flattering this is a just a really pretty gorgeous color i think it's very flattering on most skin tones most complexions it even looks good on me, and I am not really a red lipstick kind of girl. I just don't think it looks good on me. I haven't found a lot of shades that do, but this one is just very flattering, and it is not a true, true red, but it is close to red, and if you're someone that wants to dabble in wearing reds, but you're kind of concerned about looking like a clown or having it be like too red, this one is a good little way to kind of dip your foot into that pool and not have to go full in. Let's do a little swatch. I'll do it right here next to this one. 
so pretty. See how it shifts a little bit more of like a coral pink kind of red? So pretty, just very, very flattering. Formula is so moisturizing. Even with trying on all these lipsticks, I have to tell you guys, my lips are not that dry. And I've definitely had some lipstick try-ons where my lips are dry and parched by the end, but this is not bad at all. So this is another one that I absolutely love. 435, love that pink. All right guys, so I really hope you enjoyed my um, Revlon lipstick video and try on. I'm definitely not gonna wear this into work, though I have to say I kinda like the way it looks with the purple eyeshadow. I don't know, it's like this pop of color that no one is expecting, but I can't wear it into work unfortunately because for one, I'm wearing a mask the whole time, no one's gonna see it. Um, but if I was out and about, I would for sure rock this lipstick and I really like it. I think it's very flattering on me. I think it's a flattering color and it is a lot more wearable than your true classic red. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are all super affordable. You can buy Revlon in your grocery store, drugstore, Ulta, wherever, even online on Amazon. These are some classic colors and these are my picks for spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave me some love down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.